they have like cars overseas and stuff like that? When you get way over the seas, yeah. eventually there's cars. Did you have hamsters as a kid? Oh, yeah. What happened to them? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Clear Shots Podcast. Yeah. Take two. We did it. We're back. I had a little issue. I had too many stuff going on, technical stuff. Um, today's uh, episode is brought to you by uh, Clear Shots Studios, which, as I said before, on the first time we did this take, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to promote that a little bit more because we have multiple shows, so I want people to watch all of them, you know? Um, we are also presented by Dubby Energy. Um, you can go to Dubby.gg. You get your get your powder, get your energy, and you get right now you get twenty percent off. So ignore where it says ten percent and turn that into a twenty. Right, so that one can actually be a two. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So you get twenty percent off until the end of September. So. Do, go do that. Uh, now is the time to stock up. Think about it this way, right? The more you buy, the more that percentage is. Mm-hmm. So do do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you give us money when you get stuff, which is wicked cool. That's a win. Like that's a win for you. It's a win for us. W- what are we doing here? Like stop. Like you don't even have to watch this, honestly. Yeah. Just go over there, do that. And yeah. Or like buy our shirts and then relax. Yeah, buy our shirts and then relax for the rest of the night. Yeah. After you have the shirt and the energy ordered, send in send receipts. Receipts. Yeah. And make prove it. Yep. And then prove it. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys in a couple of weeks. And <laughs> thanks for listening. <laughs> um, we'll see you later. That would be a good. And episode. the next, uh, the next forty-eight minutes is going to be. Um, we Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2 terrorist yeah. hunt. And B-roll footage of um, <laughs> butterflies landing on uh, plants yeah. on, on different yeah. flowers. Cute dogs in a fish angle <laughs> lens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a fish eye lens. Uh, frolicking. Uh, a young lady frolicking through a meadow. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Yeah, all that fun shit. B-roll, general B-roll stuff. Yeah, yeah. I did have topics. I had topics. Um, it's like the stuff that you see on like an Ozempic commercial. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, people um, having fun. <clears throat> it's like when you have those, or I love even the uh, the the Cialis commercials that are like the old dudes that can finally get erections yeah. again. And it's just them at dinner or whatever. Yeah. Just like or being happy guys. No, what it'll be is it'll be like. Throwing like, a ball. It'll be like the. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like during <laughs> fucking. <laughs> It'll be like during fucking Thanksgiving or some shit. Like they're not even, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, it's like not even an intimate moment. They'll yeah. be like, you know, yeah, all the boys will be in the back wearing like matching fucking flannels, playing touch football. Yeah, and then like the the granddad comes out and he come, walks out of the sliding glass door with his arms crossed and he makes eye contact with his wife that's older than him but looks way goes, younger than him. And then you're just like smiles and nods or whatever. He's sitting at the head of the table, and someone's reaching over, handing the bread um, yeah. basket over. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It's cool. Cool shit like that. It makes you feel like you need it. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, it does. Um, so I had some topics. He's got a straight up paper. like with a. Yeah, I wrote it down at work today. Um, one, two, three, four. I Are you know. counting the number of topics right There's now? like 17. Okay. Loosely, loose. Yeah, this this was in between, um, like cups of coffee and shit this morning. So, yeah. what I want to start with, some of these topics are multiple topics. What's the deal with airplane? And some food? of these topics are the same topic, just I wrote it down differently to approach it. Okay. Like I wanted it. I wanted today's episode to be like a choose your own adventure because all these topics are going to circle back to the main point. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do this episode. And then we'll do like if you chose this one, go to this episode. That's and we'll do like insane. Separate. That's, That's so not insane. a bad idea. If I was, if we were, if we didn't have to work tomorrow, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. Be like one of those viewer mail things <laughs> yeah, where they're yeah. like, everybody, call in your votes now. 
Will <laughs> Will Seth kick Jake off the show? Will Jake relapse? Vote now. Yeah. Right. We'll do that. Right. And then like, and then we get like no votes. For we anything. get no votes for anything. But then the best part is like, uh, you know, it's just every choose your own adventure link just goes to Rainbow Six Vegas to <laughs> terrorist yeah, yeah, yeah. gameplay. <laughs> Rainbow Six Vegas too. B-roll footage. <laughs> B-roll footage. Um, Rainbow oh, Six Vegas 2 is on here. Rainbow Six just in general. Okay. Um, and uh, mostly, it's all mostly video game stuff. Um, but this one's good. This one's good right here. What was the last game that you can remember that made you cry? Ooh. Ha- have you ever cried playing a video game? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I know Gears of War 2 is one of them. Maria. Yeah. When you find Dom's wife. Yep. Um probably the first Red Dead. Yeah. Like the ending. Yeah. With John. <clears throat> and I think that might be the most recent for me. Really? Not I don't uh, play a lot of story driven games anymore. Um, um The Witcher? Did you cry playing The Witcher? No, because, like, you just are a guy who's hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, any of the Halo games? Infinite? Um, no. Five? Four, four, four like, maybe. kind of, yeah, I got, like, a. I didn't cry, but I felt like there was, like, it was emotional because Halo, Halo 4 was, to me, it was, like, so obviously there was like the legacy of Halo Three, and then you're like, oh shit, this is like big. It's like another, it's a numbered at like game in the series. They're starting a new like trilogy and shit, and a lot of it was focused around Cortana and Chief, like like lose being like coming face to face with Cortana dying basically. Right. So and like it was weird the way they diverted from that in the series. And tried to just like keep her alive, basically. But that was like it was like you were starting to be like, oh shit! Like we've gone through like fucking three like main series games with these characters, and they're a huge part of. That was a huge part of my gaming, like growing up. It's fucking, part of your I played, life. I played Halo a lot. You still do. We yeah. all do. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Well, it was one of it the first like, games uh, it, I played on PC that was like. Holy shit, like what is this? This is yeah. awesome. And nah, I just stuck with it after Halo One. The the demo I had the demo I on. PC. I don't think people had a choice but to stick with it. I don't think uh there wasn't anything else out there that was even close. Yeah. So it was just perfection. Yeah, at the time that was kind of the top of the um Yeah. It was Microsoft's big IP. It's still supposed to be, but they're kind of fumbling. It. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's shame. Like, Infinite doesn't even play that bad. Like I like Infinite. It's just um. Sometimes you're just never gonna get past a botched launch. Yeah. No matter what, unless you pull like a, a Cyberpunk 2077 with a uh, Phantom Liberty. They just need to have everything or, in the game. You know from... who 343 could learn from is the guys that botched the Master Chief Collection launch. And then turned around and fixed it. Who were those guys? Yeah, that was uh, 343. They should get into contact with them so mm-hmm. they can figure out how to make their fucking games again. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they completely botched that. Yeah, it was bad. Well, what about you? What was your crying experience? Um, The most recent game to make me cry. Now, the most recent new game. Because I can replay games that I've played over and over again and get emotional again. You know what I mean? Right. It's very weird. Um, but the most recent game that made me cry was Inscription because it was the first time where I, uh, it was like a, I didn't want to finish the game. Like I got to a point where I was like, I don't want to beat this. I want to keep playing it. But, you know, eventually it ends. Yeah. And like I was just, uh, the way it ends and like the the epilogue and stuff, the way that like the story ties together it was very satisfying and it was just cathartic and relieving and depressing at the same time. And then that's like the first game in a while where I finished it and then immediately 
Like literally, I, I beat it in two sittings the first time I played it. And then immediately I just went through and one shot at it right after I finished it. I had to. So it was that. I um, think there is one. Like, there's got to be another one. I know there's one that's more recent, but I can't think of what it is. Yeah. It could be Cyberpunk. Could have been. That was a fucking great. I'd cry at Cyberpunk. Uh, Definitely. There's lots of uh, there's lots of moments in that game that did I have, have Cyberpunk written on here? No, but I should have. I had Baldur's Gate three, which is basically the same thing. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, Cyber, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. I think we got lucky because I don't remember having many problems with it, but I also my game crashed like twice. Yeah, the entire time I was playing, and I, but I had Series X. Right, right. And it, when it came out, it was like that was the most optimized version you could get, because PC was a nightmare. And I yeah, know, I don't know. Did it come out on the gen before that? Yeah, yeah. So and it, it like barely Xbox worked. It was supposed to be on Xbone and PS4. It like barely worked. Yeah, it's not um, a good idea. I wonder if it works now. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh, I works. know that they didn't get Phantom Liberty for the last gen. But uh, Phantom Liberty was my game of the year last year, besides Baldur's Gate. It was like, it was straight up, it was like Baldur's Gate 3 and then Phantom Liberty. Like, it was very, very close. Yeah, I want to um, get it. Wait for it to go on sale again. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so I was just thinking about that. Because I was thinking about how there's a lot of games. I watched this thing at work today about Fallout New Vegas. Another one of my favorite games. <clears throat> And uh, it's got me thinking about this recent controversy with Concord, this game that got shut down by Sony. Everybody's heard about, I'm sure. I don't want to get into it. It's whatever. What I'm bummed about is that it wasn't free to play from the get-go because I wanted to try it. I really did. I don't give a fuck what the characters look like. The game looked like a a mix of uh, Destiny and Overwatch and actually looked kind of intriguing, but... (laughs) <laughs> fucking 50 people are playing it right now 50 hmm. on steam that's pretty um good. i did have halo on here that's really funny actually hmm. let's see uh for this one i don't know what this means vampires question mark cool or drool vampires cool or drool yeah yeah are vampires cool vampires are dope would you want to be a vampire it depends on it like so what kind of vampire? Yeah, there's like different. So I used to watch The Strain. It was on FX. Uh, it was on FFX, FXX. It was yeah. on fucking their other channel or whatever. And that was pretty good. Um, but the they were z- they were like zombie vampires. Like they were cl- they were vampires, but they acted more like zombies. Like the. It, it was like approached like a zombie like show. Right, that's weird, but it was good. Um, but the yeah the Strigoi, hmm. it was it was real. That was actually a good show for the first like two seasons, and then I was like, I'm out. It's just like anything else though. Like I don't know, I get tired of that kind of like The Walking Dead or something. It's like, I okay, I get what's happening here. Like it's yeah. just kind of being dragged out. <clears throat> yeah, you, you go you uh you you have a. a conflict yeah you and it never gets conflict. resolved really you, you you find a new place you find peace another conflict mm. now time to find a new place you find peace new conflict yeah it's just it's 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 hard to do that over and over and continue to be engaging yeah uh especially when um it's one of those things too where it's like once you start losing faith like once you got fucking people, viewers, listeners, whatever, dropping and dropping and dropping. Once you get a steep decline, it's really, really hard to write that ship, especially nowadays. Mm-hmm. You know? And, yeah, um, it is. Because people's attention can go uh, elsewhere fast. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, which is which is kind of a shame because I think there's lots of things that should be allowed to cook, you know? Um, oh, there's definitely things that, like... Um, like certain shows, uh, I wouldn't get into unless I like commit to them. Right, and I know they'd be good. Like, like uh, I've never seen Game of Thrones, and it's like if I watched Game of Thrones, like I know I'd get into that. But mm-hmm. like I can't. It's like, I, like to me, it's a lot of of an undertaking to fucking 
Yeah, it's it's eighty hours. Especially because like that's like I, watching forty movies. Yeah, and it's like when I do get into a show like that, it's like I stay up too late because I'm like I can do fit another one in, and it's like no, you can't. Stop doing that. Um, you get like the Tetris effect where it's like all you can think about. Yeah, and you're just like racking fan theories in your brain and stuff. Yeah, what's the other show? Sons of Anarchy. Um. House of the Dragon. No, there was a show that I got into on Netflix for a minute, and that like I it was eating too much of my time up. I actually was able to quit. Hemlock Grove. Um, no, it's the one with the fucking guy who has like the I forget what the fuck he he's got like dirty money or some shit. He like owes money. It's fucking goddamn it. How do I not know? Oh, the, the Ozarks. Ozark. Yeah, the Ozarks. <laughs> That was good, and then I fucking was like, I'm just going to have to stop watching this because I'm watching too much of it. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're long episodes, and then you fucking, you're like, I can fit another 50 minutes in. No, you can't. You can't Mm-mm. fit another 50 minutes in. It's 12.43 or whatever. Yeah, that was me and uh, Wes and Ashley with uh, Baldur's Gate yesterday. We got on Baldur's Gate 3 because the new patch dropped. Today, actually, well, there's and, a lot of games that are like that, like yeah. where you're like, I just want, I'm gonna could just keep going, and then yeah, I we got on at like seven thirty, eight o'clock, and we were like, <clears throat> I was like, yeah, I could play for like an hour or two, and then it got to be like ten o'clock, and I was like, all right, we can finish this encounter, then I'm gonna go to bed, and then it was like eleven thirty p.m. I got to get up at three thirty in the morning. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. It sucks. Like, I think um one game that did that really well is uh, Left for Dead because there's because they're so and short. Then there's yeah. And it's divided into segments, and you're like, I have to finish the act. Like, I want to finish Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And then you go, well, we only we only have a half an hour. Let's just run No Mercy quick. And then instead of speed running No Mercy, you take your time because you love it so much. Yeah. And then it ends up taking, like, an hour five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the best, though. When you, when you hop in... So, yeah, Left 4 Dead's a great one. The, the cliche one is always civilization, but I never... I got into those when I was a kid, but I don't really play them anymore. I have a problem with like, um, like Sims type of games, uh, like tycoon games, because those are time sinks to me. Like a lot more time passes than like fucking when I used to bring the laptop over for game dev tycoon, yeah, and and play it for like fifteen hours straight. Yeah, because that's what I mean. You get there's some kind of loop. There's a feedback loop there that like you just get sucked into. That was like a nightmare day. Well, I mean, I mean, it was a great day, but that was like we we did something in the morning. We were together like from like nine in the morning until like one in the morning. Yeah, like we 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 did shit in the morning, and then we there was probably like a I UFC think, or I something. I bet we did a podcast in the morning, and then had UFC all day. Yeah, is what it was. But that the, was when like me, you, and Vinny were could just coming up with the most ridiculous games. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was just hitting. Like, like the algorithm based. was, yeah, like fucking text based racing sims and shit. Mm-hmm. That, so I want to, I, I should have wrote like uh, time sync games. That's a good topic. I have a real problem with like city skylines or like, um, like uh, roller coaster tycoon games. What's the other one? Roll, um, planet coaster yeah 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 yeah. that kind of shit is like man because you just keep building and like while you're building shit in your head you're like oh i can add this over here too and you see like more potential and you keep seeing more shit and you don't like if you quit you lose that flow state so like you you're gonna come back to it but like you're not gonna remember that idea you had yeah <clears throat> that's how i feel whenever i play like jrpgs like final fantasy and stuff mm-hmm um, like once I stop playing it for a day or two, I I'm done. I can't. Yeah, I yeah, fucking yeah. drop Dead Space again. I got so far this time. Like the last like three or four times I've tried to play Dead Space, I got to like chapter two. Yeah. But this time I got to like chapter seven. It happens with Pokemon for me. Yep, big one. I'll I'll go. I'll start up a Pokemon playthrough and I'll get it all the way to like Misty in one go and then never touch it and again. And then I feel like I'm grinding, like because. Sometimes I just boot it up if I have extra time because I pull I do poker MMO still. I just pull it up, and then I'm just grinding and knocking guys out or whatever just to kill some time. Because right now I just have to grind for the fucking elite four or whatever. Right, right. But that's so boring to me, like to sit at the end of the map and like just fucking keep fighting shit. It's so boring. 
I use repels like for most of my playthroughs. Crazy. It's just too much. Like I I'm, love that in we're, my we're head, mostly a Pokemon podcast, by the way. Yeah. This is the best part about the show. We're yeah, becoming a poke like a unintentionally becoming a Pokemon show. Yeah. Um, and I don't even fucking play I haven't played any of the the last one I played was X. I think it, it's worse when you've played the game before because in your head you're like, I gotta go here. And then you keep hitting roadblocks that in the fucking tall grass. You try to like, min max. You try to min max and speed run all your fucking yeah. teams. Because like you, you already know what team you want before you even are finished right. coming up with the name for your rival, which is gonna be like Scroat or something. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Larry. Yeah. Uh, it's usually Larry. Yeah. Sun chips. Mm-hmm. Or name them, name them, such like Nebula, Snyder. <clears throat> but yeah, so you I can have do a Nebula that. now. That's another. Yeah, we have a Nebula. Story. It's in the other room. If you want to come see it, you can check it out. But you have to ask for permission first. Yeah, it's. I can't. I'm struggling to get the right lighting for the Nebula. Yeah, the problem is it came with twelve Nebula cartridges, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and one of them's already missing, which is kind of scary. Yeah, that one. Well, anyway, yeah, it was a, it was a impulse purchase. Yeah. Uh, it was the right kind of impulse purchase. Though. Yeah. I mean, look at it. It moves around a little bit. It looks bit, pretty cool. But it just needs to be darker in here. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to nebulize the fuck out of that other room. Yeah, it's going to be a... Like a yeah. nebula or something. It's going to be cool. It actually it kind of looks like Russia. It kind of looks yeah. like Asia from it's a very Russian. It's very That's Russian. That's just this cartridge. Asia. You know what I mean? It's like we can swap the cartridges. Maybe we do a, a Nebula episode at some point. But mm -hmm. And just talk it's about be space. Very difficult to see. We could do like maybe the Jesse episode because we were planning on doing candlelight for because of the dedication. Yeah, yeah. And that seems really dangerous. Yeah. <clears throat> so because we did an episode with Jesse uh, with candles because. Our power went out at the time. Yeah, it was the middle of a of a lightning blizzard. I'm not sure what episode that was, but it was like a while. Like back. 35. And it was audio only because I was just recording on my laptop. But we could just do like a nebula tribute. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Speaking of nebulas, I took your advice and I started shipbuilding in Starfield. Uh -huh. It's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, I like swapping out. I like getting, I like stealing a ship. We're not stealing a ship, but like commandeering a ship and then swapping out the parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then That's I just I, I have a different ship for like different shit. So like when I'm doing missions for this faction, I use the Mantis ship. When I'm for Constellation, I'm in the Frontier. When I'm doing my own shit, I have my own custom ship. It's uh -huh. pretty cool. Yeah. You know? I usually buy it and then I And the fucking four wheeler thing, the little dune buggy. Yeah. Game changer. Uh, yeah, I need that fast. Really, 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 really happy about Starfield. That was actually the first thing that I wrote down because we were talking about Starfield the other day together. And uh, I liked it when I first played it. And by golly, I like it even more now. Uh, I'm taking my time. It gets like a lot of hate, but like it's pretty damn good. It's just not up to par with. It's not as good as Skyrim. Yeah. And that's what I think people don't like. Yeah. Um, and I, th if it came out before Skyrim, <laughs> yeah, but I kind of like it more than Fallout 4 already. Um, because I'm not, I don't know. I There's think just that, something like, these about things, they win me over with the space aesthetic. The space aesthetic is nice. I like the, the NASA punk, like how it's, it's like 1960s, 1970s, like 2001 alien. You know what I mean? Like when they Jetsons, like it kind of looks like that where it's like it's yeah. like what people thought the future was going to look yeah, like yeah, instead yeah. of what it's actually going to look like. It's like when you go on that Disney ride um, and they're showing you the future. The yeah. one in the, in the big globe in Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. Mission Space. Yeah. Or whatever. Soren. <laughs> whatever the and fuck. And they're like, hey, this is what's going to. It's all robots bringing you shit. And yeah. Fucking... But yeah. So it's a lot uh, of that architecture with archways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like Iridian. Yeah, a lot of silver and white architecture. Uh huh. Yeah, like very Iridian. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Um. And white, like white architecture with some silver. A little bit of silver mixed in, yeah. With the white. And they do a lot of patches. Mm hmm. Patches with the space and the stars, you know what I mean? The stars, the hound's the, tooth, like a little rocket ship. Yeah, or that'd be funny if there was aliens that had hound's tooth 
like was their pattern. Like yeah, Ricky, well. like Ricky's shirt from Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> that's that's, that's houndstooth or like composition notebook that's what their skin tone was was I know, like i really should get more of those like those kind of shirts with like flames or whatever because i used to have them yeah 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 i mean they're they're good they're comfortable too yeah and they're not what's bad. cool is when that you're really cool when you leave it open and you have a chain like a long silver chain yeah 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 you got to get a silver chain with a gold uh guinea horn yeah yep i could see that Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I guess like maybe like a, a wallet chain of some sort too, probably a, a a barbed wallet chain. Yeah. So it's like, hey, check this out. But you better you don't touch it. Yeah. Like you shouldn't touch anybody's wallet chain unprompted anyway. But if you have a barbed one, if you have a barbed, yeah, you no one's touching that. You fucking better hope. That's not. a good idea. It's pretty fun. I can't believe nobody's thought of that before. I bet some fucking scary dudes in Malaysia have. I'll tell you what. What goes really good with flame decals? Sunglasses. Yeah. I feel like you can't have flames. You can't, like, wear flames without sunglasses. It's kind of weird. It gives you a weird vibe. You know? I feel like if you were wearing flames, you got to pop them on. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. You don't. You don't think that's the case? You think that you can wear flames without sunglasses and it's oh. okay? Oh. You think that it's okay? To... I had it backwards. I had it backwards. Yes, you are correct. You have to, If you're wearing a shirt or any type of clothing with flames on it, you are required to have sunglasses. Yeah. I think that's just a law of physics. I don't think you have a choice. Yeah. It's like and then as Guy soon Fury. as you have flames on... We haven't figured it out yet, I but think something that, puts sunglasses on you. I think in some states, um, it, they come with sunglasses in their pocket. Yeah, like, those are the flyover states, though. Yeah, but that's but they know what they're doing in that regard. It's like I, it's one of the few things they've gotten right. Mm-hmm. So there goes that that audience. Yeah, now, they get sunglasses. They all have sunglasses so they can see all the planes flying overhead. They're like, oh look, mommy, more more folks from Mother. the big cities. Uh, oh mother, I wish we could fly. I wish we could fly. <laughs> <laughs> they're from they're in like the fucking twenties or something. For, they just haven't advanced from yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> That's how people in the, the whole middle talk. of the country has an advance. That's how they all talk. Hey, honey. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Elon Musk bought Twitter? <laughs> all right oh. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what it's about. Yeah. So uh you know. Oh man, I can't wait to do a Halloween special. It's gonna be That'd fun. be fun. Yeah, dude, that one's gonna be cool. I think I'm gonna get some Halloween decorations now that I have a house. Yeah, and then you can invite some Donald Trump over. Stones. Yeah, and dude. he can go. Wow, I was told. I was told there was decorations here. I can't we, believe it. I walked in Halloween. and I saw all the decorations. I said, "Wow, these are amazing decorations. They really are. <laughs> they great. really, really are." We love Halloween in this country. Yeah. Big proponent. Big big fan. Big fan of Halloween. <laughs> big fan of Halloween. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Halloween, Ernie. <laughs> or wait, is that Pee Wee? <laughs> you want to hear my Trump impression? <laughs> I'm a big fan of Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Not, I said wow. I said not wow. Donald Trump. I'm talking about a different yeah, it's Trump. It's just a different guy. Hey, it's me. <laughs> it's a different Trump guy. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm little, I'm tiny, I'm tiny old Trump. I'm tiny. So I sound like this. I said, yeah. wow. I walked in. I said, wow, I can't believe how tiny I am. I'm the tiniest guy they've ever seen. <laughs> I got my name on the tower. Can you believe some people don't, some people don't celebrate Halloween? Some Can you believe don't? some people don't celebrate Halloween? <sighs> I don't know. It's like one of those Lakitas. Or like, uh, what are those guys in fucking Mario? They go like, rrr, rrr. the shy guys. Is that what they're called? Oh, those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Rrr, rrr. They didn't those really dudes. come in till Mario Three, did they? Rrr, rrr. I don't think they did. <laughs> it's fucking weird as shit. They, yeah, they be... weren't in the first. They weren't in the original. They better not have been. The shy guys. Shy yeah. guys. Yeah, they didn't get shy until the third game, I think. What about the ghosts? Uh, they were in Super Mario World. That's crazy. That they were a bitch. What's their problem with Mario? 
I don't think like what are the political ramifications of his crusades? Some of them don't. Some of them are aimless, and they just go in circles. Yeah. Um. But the ones that go after him when he's not looking is like maybe they just want the attention. They should do a Shadow the Hedgehog with Mario. Yeah. Shadow Shadow the Mario. Shadow the Mario is not a great name, but uh, I would try something else. Mario the Hedgehog. Yeah. 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 We That'd be that. cool. Yeah, we could talk to... Well, so, I mean, there's like Sonichu, obviously. So we could get into that kind of... Have you Chris, been Have you been Chris watching Chan. more of the Chris Chan documentary? I watched like a different one that was shorter. <laughs> You're doing a disservice. Yeah. So, so what's your favorite part? Well, I don't really... Uh, I haven't gotten that far into it. Yeah? It's been mostly about his upbringing, like how fucked up his childhood That's was. the best. That's the absolute best part of the entire... The entire... His entire existence. It's weird because, like, it's like I'm watching a... Like, like I feel like someone's going to be serial murdered in the end. Like, that's the way it's presented. It, like, seems like I'm watching... Uh, a murder documentary. You're watching somebody's eulogy, is what you're watching. Uh, but they don't. He doesn't know he's dead yet. Right. Well. Yeah, well. Yeah. I guess. It's fucking sad and tragic. But it's also like really, really fun and funny and hilarious. Well, it's just like oh, you know, Rutgersville, I... Virginia. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls of all teenagers. Teenagers. <laughs> That's that's he's the original shy guy. Is Christian yeah. Weston Chandler? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Wow. I'm working on it. You get that. You get that out of here. What if Sonichu is real? He is. Like, what if it's like a real thing? The dimensional merge is happening. Yeah. Like, what if like people like Chris Chan? are really seeing, like, a different dimension, and we're just not seeing it. Oh, I hope that's what's happening. I do, too. Like, how dogs can see ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, birds see, like, and cats can, like, see earthquakes yeah, before they, they happen. Yeah, like, different frequencies that we can't hear and shit. Like, the monsters from Quiet Place. If they can hear different frequencies, how come they can't... Who's to say that they can't see different frequencies? Did you watch probably the video? Science, did you probably watch the, science, but probably. But did you watch the the body cam footage of Chris Chan getting arrested? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was all over the place. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I can't. I can't believe. Oh, these are that. just the internet trolls. They follow me around. I'm kind of <laughs> notorious on the internet. I'm I'm infamous and famous. I am infamous and famous on the internet. Yeah. And Sonichu, I'm the creator of Sonichu C137. They just fucking. The cops are just like, what is actually? Oh, happening? dude. My favorite, my favorite part was um, there was a comment that somebody put on the the body cam footage, and it was like uh, the cop, the cop that had to drive Chris Chan to the station was stuck in an unskippable cutscene. <laughs> I mean, that's effectively yeah. It seems like that. <laughs> it was awesome. That bugs me in games. Oh, bad. dude, dude, so bad. Because Especially, like, I don't want like a lot of games. I'm not playing for that. You know, like. And like the ones that I am, I want to. They need to make me want to watch the cutscenes. You know, like Baldur's Gate, I watched like every dialogue option. <laughs> yeah, and some games I'm not even like that. Like the second time I played Witcher Three, I like skipped it because I know all the general shit that's going on. It's like Baldur's Gate, I'd probably skip it too now. But I just think like they need to hook you with something. I, and there's certain games you approach, like you go into them and you're like, okay, this is going to be a story thing for me. Because nowadays you can just fucking read a review ahead of time and be like, oh, it's got a good story or it's bad yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Well, like you were saying But earlier, the problem is reviews now are trash. Like half the shit... Dude, I'm sorry, but like half of the shit that people don't like is still pretty fucking good. Like, <laughs> like Starfield. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't, I can't, it's hard to take a lot of this shit f for real. I, mean, I think a lot of the, I think a lot of like internet people are just like, it's, um, they're just trying to fucking 
drum something up. Everybody's just so cynical and they're, jaded. They're and also they love very complaining, picky too. Yeah, if it's not like catered directly to them, they're, mm-hmm. they're mad about it. It's yeah, like, and if it like they go back and they like retcon stuff, they throw fits online, and it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, you know, it's like I fucking hate you, people like that. I like watch. I like looking at Google reviews, like Google Apps reviews, because there are uh, so those unhinged. are the most unhinged. Yeah, <laughs> they're so bad, and half the time, like it's not even. Like, a lot of times, it's mostly bots, I would say. Like, I, there's so many fucking apps that are, like, in the top of the Play Store, and they're just cancer. Like, it's, like, a wicked bad game that, like, every 12 seconds you have to watch an ad. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's got, like, 4.8 stars. (laughs) And it's, like, uh, I don't know. Like, how about just, like, sell me the game instead of making me watch ads the second i play an install game and i play it and there's an ad after like level two or three done so it's gone yeah um i missed when all the phone games were just like virtual lighters and like guns that you would have to load yeah yeah or like the remember, the, remember was... the one that was like the beer and you could pretend to drink a beer oh, with yeah. your phone that was like when the ipod touch was like just coming out yeah 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 People were like, what? You just drank a beer? That was crazy. Yeah. They're like, well, look at this gun. Hey, you got a lighter? Yeah, hold on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And they're like, thanks. That helped me none. Yeah. The fucking, whatever that fucking noise is. I hate when people leave their, um. Their text tone on? Yeah. Really? Yeah, their keyboard noises. It's so I don't know if I ever do it. I wonder if I do. I turn it off immediately. Yeah, he's kind of... Yeah, of course I do. Of course I have it turned on. It's so irritating. Because it's like, why does everybody need to know that you're texting? (laughs) And what what feedback is it really giving you? I don't know. It sounds cool. Makes me feel like a hacker. It's like sometimes people leave the vibrate on for key presses. Oh, I do that. So it's vibrating and it's making noise. It's just one of those things. Huh. I think it's too much. But I like the haptic feedback. I actually, I turned I the sound on. I use typing, so I don't really. I, I turned the, the sound on for the bit, but I do have the haptic oh. feedback. I do swipe the text, too. I like text that you found too, that but... setting so fast. I would not be able oh, to Oh, yeah. It. No, I literally, uh, I just do this. Oh. Yeah, I have, I have it on the home oh, screen it's, there. Yeah, it's okay, just yeah. my fucking silence. Silence. Um, yeah, I miss that. I miss, uh, you know. Uh, uh, what's the um, uh, pocket sitcom? Yeah, pocket sitcom is still goaded. I still have that. Yeah. I don't think you can get it anymore. I just like have it on my. I don't like know if you can re download it. Let me check that. Oops. Because um, I had it on one phone, and because it was still tied to my account, I was able to get it back. But I remember like searching for it. And I couldn't find it. It was like not available with my current device or something. Mm, probably because it was an old version of it's an old app. It's not yeah. even on the store. Wow. Wow. But if I like f- go into my like apps settings, I can re download it, which is weird to me. Yeah, I have it. I mean, you know, it's, it's essential, really. We mm-hmm. should be able to sell our devices for way more money because they have pockets that come on. Yeah. Like Flappy Bird. That was one of the things, too. It was like uh, games, like Concord is being taken off the market, which is funny, but you're never going to be able to play it, which which might yeah. upset those like few dozen people that are all about preserving games. Yeah. PT and those kinds PT's of things. PT is another one, but it's like... Uh, would you? Would you? But really it's the be... same people that are like complaining. They're all sad about Xbox Live 360 going down. It's like, yeah, I get it. Like it sucks, but like also, no one's playing on the 360 anymore. And if you are, like, stop. Like, tr- sell it for to somebody who just wants to collect it, and you'll make as much to get like an Xbox One or something, and then you can play like current gen. <laughs> Yeah, you could play the Xbox kind One of. for another year before that gets shut down. Yeah, which like, yeah, I was talking to my cousin, um, and he was like, I was talking to him about WWE 2K24, and he's like, well, I just don't want to buy a wrestling game that 
like I'm only gonna buy one because I want to be able to just buy it, download all the characters, and then like what happens is like two or three years down the line they shut the servers down. So now and then all the characters and shit you used to have are gone. Yeah, well they're still there, downloaded, but like you can't get to community creations anymore. Right. So it kills the longevity of the game. Like, like if people could keep creating characters and uploading them, then. And what's their, is it really taking up server space for them? It's like, no. Like, none of that is really that demanding for them. It's 2K. Like, they can keep that online if they want to. They just do it so that you buy fucking the new one. It's like, it's not, like, the same. Like, if I boot up my PS2 or whatever, all my save files are there. <laughs> There's the same save files. Even with, like, 360, I don't know. It's like, I don't like when... That's the problem with everything being online and being downloadable and everything. It's like the you, like you don't even own your digital games, really. Like you own them, but you own the license to them is all you really own. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the, if they took it off the if they take it out, if they were to remove it, you couldn't download it again on another console if you got it. No. Nah. That's one of those things that gets me with uh like Counter-Strike 2. I'm just never going to play because uh it's I don't want to play it. I want to play Global Offensive. That was my favorite version yeah. of Counter Strike, and now it's gone forever. Same why? With, why? With Overwatch. Why, though? Overwatch went from Overwatch to Overwatch Two. It's like, wait a minute. But I spent you know eighty bucks on the special edition for Overwatch when it first came out. Now I can't play that game ever again. What the fuck? Yeah, they what they need to like have they botched is, that. I hated that shit. There needs to be like a judge that steps in and goes like, "Hey, um, you need to like reimburse people." for the value of what they paid that they can no longer access. Like anything you're buying, you should be able to access for the rest of you the time you own it. Like you own it. Yeah. That's how this works. It's like you can buy a physical copy now and even then it's like they could still restrict the fucking server and say like you can't do this or whatever. Yeah, and they're allowed to poison your wife and you're not allowed to sue them for it. Yeah. If you traded a card on the marketplace they're like, we get to pull the plug. And it's like, oh, sick, thanks. Yeah. You know what is up with uh what's the deal with NA NFTs? Are those still a thing? No, no. I think um So you can't sell like monkey cards. No, nah, they're all and... fucking it's all it's all the rage is about um industry plants and the music industry. That's that's like what the new NFTs are. Oh. It's like every month there's a new person that gets super famous on TikTok and then they disappear. It mm -hmm. freaks me out. It really does. I just discovered who Ice Spice was like last week, and apparently her career is already over. Yeah, that's way long ago. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, even you know her. Yeah, she's been done for months. I'm like, what the fuck? What? I had no idea who this bitch was. I literally found out the other day that Ice Spice wasn't one of the Spice Girls. Yeah, I think the news cycles so fast that your rise and falls fast, too. Like, your 15 minutes of fame is legitimately 15 minutes. It's crazy. <clears throat> um... But that's the nature of TikTok. Like, it's all about fast paced. It's like, watch a 13 second video. Now this person's famous. And then, oh, but I watched the next video. So who cares about that last one? <laughs> right, 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 right. It's like the same. Like, that's the, um, it's just your people's attention spans are slower or are shorter, I guess. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's like, everything now is short form like you get so many views on at least we do on youtube shorts and like tiktok and obviously like instagram's bullshit like for promoting yourself that's all completely has to be like done organically somehow i, I have no idea how meta works with that it's all i think that's all money i think meta only works with money yeah, to be able to put money into it, but with TikTok, like that stuff will spread organically, um, and you'll get a lot of views. But like, um, long form stuff on YouTube, even that is like very algorithm based. But I, I am just, I hate the way Meta works. I just hate it because it's all, like, I have to use this. I have to use Meta ads. Yeah, it's the only way I would be able to get anybody to see anything that we like put out, basically, on Instagram or Facebook. I used to be a big uh, hater of the algorithm, but lately, 
actually, it's, I don't know if it's good or bad. Apparently, I watched over 900 hours of YouTube already this year, which most of it is probably while I'm sleeping because I have it on while I'm Auto sleeping. Play, yeah. Um, sometimes I even just leave it on. I turn that off because I want to see my history sometimes. Like if I, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh, shit, I watched that the other day. Check this out. Oh, you know what the worst is? The worst, this happens to me a lot because when I work, uh, Sometimes at the kitchen, I, I work either in the pizza kitchen by myself or the bagel kitchen with one other person. But when I work by myself, I throw an AirPod in and I make the playlist on YouTube like the night before. Like gives me something to look forward to, like a fucking video game essay or a sports document. Well, usually any of those two things. It's sports radio or documentaries or like a video game analysis for a game that I'm either never going to play or yeah. I've already played a hundred times. Um but the algorithm has just been fucking clutch lately. So clutch. I'm just yeah. a big fan of the algorithm. I don't know what they did, uh, but keep doing it. Algorithm, guys. Alg- the algorithm bubble isn't going to pop, unlike what Dave has been predicting for the past two years, which is the gaming industry bubble is going to burst. I'm calling it Yeah. 2030. It, it almost has to, I guess. It's bad. It's getting really bad. I think the difference with YouTube is that you can, like, what it'll do is pull up a number of videos on your home screen. Now, from here, you're selecting what you want to see, whereas, like, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, you're scrolling, and you are watching the next video, no matter what. Usually, yeah. And it plays, so now that's going to somewhat factor into the th- the thing that I hate and I always end up blocking or or th- disliking or whatever I don't use TikTok but on YouTube Shorts I hate when the the short starts with the end of the video yeah yeah they want so you to like you have out. to watch the whole thing to hear what he says at the very end yeah we should do that more. that shit's annoying we got to do that but that shit's annoying especially <laughs> when it's something I want to watch like it's a fucking like sixty second like Baldur's Gate a 3 lot build. of podcasts do that now they'll do like a like a it's like a provocative question and then it'll cut to where they're about to answer it yeah and then it fucking when <laughs> plays yeah, yeah the theme when, song yeah it's so fucking <laughs> stupid um. So this but yeah, will be so, where we put that part, we'll, or we'll do that at the beginning, and then that'll be the part where the, we put exactly. it a cold open. It's a kind of a cold open, but they take it from the actual episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like a cold ending. It's like an ending. It's a well, semicolon. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be an ending. But. Um, but yeah, the thing that gets me a lot is when I think about things, and I go, wow, I have never thought of it like that before, you know? Yeah. And it could be a lot of things. It could be things you like, things you don't like, things that you don't know if you don't or if you don't. Well, it doesn't matter what you like. Like, I think now, I think it really matters what everyone else likes because right. that's how you pick what you like. Exactly. You know what I mean? I said it before we started filming. I knew that the that these two metal bands I've been listening to were going to be bands that I liked because I looked them up on Reddit and everybody on Reddit fucking hated them. And I was like, sick, I'm going to listen to them. And I, I haven't been able to stop. Yeah. But, uh, that is how people are though. Like yeah. there's a lot of people. I think that's why, like, that's why Rick and Morty popular. is the way it is. I think that's why like pop music is so bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, part of it is pop love, music. Uh, I pop, think is pop, because pop music is, it's pretty good though. Well, it's not, but, um, I think it's also easy to make music now. So yeah. I think it's so, I think it's quantity over quality sometimes. Mm, 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 you can make a song mm, in mm, fucking mm, two hours mm, on your, mm, on your DAW, mm, on your computer. And you don't even have to like, you barely have to have technical skills at it. Yeah. It kind of does a lot of it for you. You can just have the AI do it. Now you can just say, yeah, write me a, a uh, pop song that's like really, really, really good, and it's gonna be one. Of make the sure best it's ever. got. Make sure it's funny, and, and it needs auto tune because otherwise it's not popular. And it's gotta have a big sexy hook. Sexy hook, popular, auto tune, um, really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be the prompt that I put in, and then yeah. and then it goes. All right, here you go. And it goes. All right, here you go. 
And then it goes. TikTok is popular. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you guys like TikTok. You gotta listen to our songs on TikTok. TikTok is good. Keep watching. All right, it. do you think everybody stopped listening? Uh, By now? No, this is where they start listening. This is where they start listening? Yeah, because they go to the, they jump to the, um, they jump through the us time just fucking that spinning our tires. Singing. Yeah, yeah. So now they're back. That was like yeah, the yeah, that yeah. was the smoke break. It's the it's like the, intermission. The AI just starts writing songs about how good TikTok is. <laughs> it like starts promoting like Chinese companies. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, <sighs> no, that would be cool. <laughs> China's like, a wild uh, place, man. I've never been there. The Timu band, you know what I mean, comes out. Oh yeah, uh, the TikToks. Drop, Dropkick Murphys, I think, is is the official band of Timu. Yeah. Yeah, what's dun, 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 They're hilarious. Oh, my God. Timu's hilarious. That's where I got my Nebula. I can't believe it. Is that where you got the sleeves? No, that was a different situation. Oh. I got that right from their website. Right. The right. Sleeves. The, web, the website. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, it's because the song, the AI song, told me to get them. But the Nebula thing is, you know, that was all a Timu situation. I feel like pop music is a lot is a lot better than you're giving it credit for. Not uh, really. I, Rick Astley is pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Miley Cyrus. Today's pop, music, oh, like oh. modern pop music. What would that even be? Katy Perry. <laughs> that yeah, like five, six years ago, seven years, eight years ago, nine years ago, ten years ago, probably. I don't know what it is now. Now it's just crap. Ice, is it Ice Spice? It's hip hop is, is what it Sexy is. Sexy red. But hip hop isn't even hip hop anymore. No. It's um Yeah, because I don't even know what to call it. Because it, it's not rap and it's not hip hop, but they call it rap. Tick pop. It's like it's like pop songs that are just made to be famous on TikTok. Like Yeah. That's a huge source of um where bands get big too. Is um With their TikTok song goes, challenges? Their audio goes viral. Yeah. Oh, and then everybody's like, home. I don't really like the rest of their stuff. It's not really yeah. that good. But then they're literally just they're like multi platinum artists now. <laughs> and they're my, singing at the Super Bowl. My favorite is uh I've been watching these videos about these uh rappers and hip hop artists, just just artists in general that are uh, pulling all these, uh, I mean, I think it's happening to comedians too. They're 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 booking all these arena tours and then having to shut them down because they can't sell any tickets. That's because no one wants to spend a thousand plus on an arena ticket. Fuck that! I spent uh like eighty bucks on Syracuse tickets, and that's when they're playing Holy Cross, and I'm playing, and they're uh, it's like second deck tickets. For eighty something dollars for two of them, it's like Syracuse playing Holy Cross. No one wants to. No one cares about that game. I just wanted to go to the dome at some point because they got no seats up there and shit. Um, and I was like, two tickets is eighty something dollars. And then you want you look at the front row and they're like hundreds of dollars for a, a ticket, like four or five hundred, just for a Syracuse football game is crazy. So when I go to see the Mets too, I'm gonna fucking see what their price is. It's not gonna be good. No, it's mm-hmm. like I want to go see like a like a Monday Night Raw or something. Where is that? They they, they play at Shea Stadium or is it City Field? The Syracuse Mets. Oh, the Syracuse Mets. They play at um, NBT Bank. Yeah, Stadium. yeah. That place is good. They got good food there. Ballpark. Yeah. yeah. Food. I like it. Yeah, I like. I like the baseball atmosphere. Yeah, it's all you right. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then, grand slam. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's a grand slam. Yeah. They should bring back the bigs. That was a good fucking game. Round in the bags, you know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, uh, Cracker Jacks, Peanuts, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I like that stuff. Peanuts, dude. Come on. I got to get some. I was about to buy a lot of dried fruit 
yesterday, like $70 worth of dried fruit, and I backed out. Why? I don't know. It you could do like a lot of things with it. $70 is like a lot for dried fruit. You could rehydrate it and then just get all the fruit back. And then redress like you could do whatever you wanted with it. But that's what I would do. But wouldn't I just you get have a water? Dehydrator you have water. It? You have a water fount. Well, faucet. So just get it wet. Yeah, fill it up with Shake water. Shake it around a little bit. Yeah. Like if you were gonna make. Isn't um, it cheaper to get it hydrated already and then dehydrate it? No. It's no, because it's rehydrate. cheaper. It's cheaper to run your water than it is to run a dehydrator. Mm. But now it's rehydrated. It's not like regular regular hydrated no but then like in that way you're like making it yours it's your fruit mm. the fruit of your labor literally yeah i guess it is yeah you know i think want about some it. dried pineapples though it sounds really good no yeah. no uh dried, i like uh um, apricots potato chips those are good uh and then i had almonds i had a bunch of almonds in the bag and those cart. are good did you get those they're like, all in my car. They still. raw nuts.com, dude. Right. That shit is that's where you get bulk snacks. It just is where you go. Huh. Yeah. And I know people probably have stumbled there on accident. I've never been. Yeah, they go to they want something else. Mm -hmm. They're looking for something else. Mm -hmm. They're looking for something else. Why would you go to <laughs> I don't even know if they've ever done that on accident. No one's searching for nuts. <laughs> like, no I don't one's think searching that, for people's balls. I don't think that era of the internet exists anymore where you would type in a random website and go to it. No, now it's all sponsored. It's all content. sponsored and it's all apps. Apps killed the, yeah, the yeah. dot com. The if you Google com search guys. something, it um, there's one link at the top. It's sponsored. The mm -hmm. next part is like a summary of what you're looking for because Google wants to do that now. Um. Probably so that they get your traffic and no one else does. <laughs> but that, like, I don't know. The way Google searches used to work is fucking, that was the Wild West. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I search for nuts. Where you wouldn't even be able to find nuts.com immediately. And then yeah. sponsored is the first one. And then you got the actual one. Then it's all shopping. So you get Amazon, naturally. Wikipedia, and then there's like people also ask. This is kind of like that's actually useful. I used it a lot, like this stuff, the drop downs. Oh yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's, I don't know. Google's pretty efficient now. Images, look at that. And then if we turn off safe search, <laughs> it was just gonna be balls. <laughs> It smells like powder in here. What yeah, that shit in? was fun back in the day. I remember, my, like, we could go on the computer and you type in like boobies dot com, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, shit like that. Naked girls. Naked girls. Um, but it, then it does what it does though. You, you know would get I mean? to the. You would get to. Uh, the best was like when YouTube first came out. It would always give you what you're looking for. Is, is the bottom line though. I just I miss uh, original YouTube where it was like the old logo, you know, like YouTube broadcast yourself, you know, and it was just with the uh, silver and red ball at the bottom. Yeah, and it was just and then the buffering thing that uh, never is a thing anymore. Like no. a buffering, uh, like you see it, like loading the video. Right, right, right. Yeah, like an actual bar while it's playing or whatever. I remember it used to be faster if you paused the video. You used to have to pause it and then wait for it to buffer the whole thing and then then play the video. Or it would buffer like to 73% and then it would stop. Yeah. And then when you start playing it, it would start going again. There was a lot of tricks to the internet back then. Mm -hmm. like, the best was um, um, using using web browsers to download other web browsers. Yeah, and that's – yeah. How that was my favorite. It? it was just was just finding different you, web browsers and then you, fucking every computer up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like over organize my desktop. Or not brow toolbars, toolbars for your browsers. That's what I would do. Yeah, yeah. Like the magic tool like, like download this thing and you can it'll make your Wi Fi faster. And then you all of a sudden like your, your mouse disappears. Yeah, like when you're in your <laughs> install thing, you're like uh, it's like, do you also want to install Virus 01? Yeah. And then it's oh, like, shit. yeah, 
just yeah. fucking pulled a hamstring. I got but so excited thinking about malware. Meanwhile, you're just going next, 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 uh, next. <laughs> dude, they still do that shit. I don't. There are so many yeah. fucking. Uh, I can't remember what website it was. There was a website I used to go to all the time. I want to say it's CNET, but it might not be CNET. So there's a website you used to be able to go to that would just have like ad free, DRM free versions of basic software. Mm -hmm. And then they fucking pulled one of those things where now whenever you install it, it, they try to put like just a program that is their website that is literally just a link that opens up their. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, get out of here with that. Why would I want that? Or like there was. I like to use trainers a lot when I play older games on PC. Adding websites to your home screen never made sense to me either. Like websites to your desktop or home Oh, screen. people are weird for that. Just make it your homepage. Yeah. I guess. Like They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah, you know who else to... doesn't know what they're doing? Let me, let me take a look at this. Helldivers. What the fuck's going on with Helldivers? Why yeah. is everybody mad? Um, they're mostly mad because they took two rounds away from the, um, incendiary breaker. And that's pretty much it. Oh. Uh, they just don't like that. They're nerfing weapons. They're all. still doing that? They nerfed the incendiary breaker by taking away two rounds. And that's now annoying. everybody's mad at it. That's really annoying. Yeah, and it's really not that big of a deal because I almost always had full ammo anyway because you just call in ammo. But people don't want to do that. And I think they're mad that the Illuminate's not in the game yet. <laughs> so people want it to be immediately. They want all of it to be there, and then they'll be done with the game. <laughs> they want the Illuminate to be there so they can criticize it and then be done with the game. They're like, let's just review bomb it. That it's seems like, like stop what, it's, what it doing is. That, that don't seems like what it review is. Review bomb things. It's dumb. I like that Steam does recent reviews, though. It'll mm-hmm. say, like, overall reviews or whatever. And the thing that gets me is that um, I'm watching the, the controversy from the sidelines and cheering on both sides because it's entertaining to mm-hmm. watch it all on YouTube, both sides, like people that love the game still and people that hate the game now, yeah. just fighting. It's my favorite thing. But um, Well, just it, hate the game and stop it, fucking with it then. It sucks because... um. Don't play it. They 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 fingered me. They figured the group that I'm in is people. Literally, the guy goes, he goes. Most of the people that watch my videos are people that hit level 20 and quit playing. And I'm like, that's literally what happened. I hit level 20 and I was like, mm-hmm. there's nothing left. Well, you can get the ship stratagems and stuff, but you know, um, you think about it too, and it's like I still have like fucking 80 something hours in that game. The game's great. People are fucking. I think there's just not enough cool shit uh, for me. Yeah. And it's there's like, not enough cool shit. I, I have a hard time, like, thinking about what they could do to even make you want to keep playing, though. You know? Because it's like they are – the gameplay loop is already awesome. Yeah. Uh, like, everything – like, the graphics and everything. Um, Like, the atmosphere is great. And the general – just the way everything works is, is pretty fucking functional. Lightsabers. <laughs> Yeah, if they put like a, a like a knockoff lightsaber yeah, in Hell Divers, like, uh, and actually, unironically, and this is gonna sound fucking treasonous, but I can't fucking stand the cape, the cape physics, and the just the animations for the capes piss me off. I wish I could take the cape off. Mm. It really yeah, annoys I guess me. They could make a thing. With I think it looks ugly when it like gets covered in fucking blood and guts and fire and shit, like. Yeah, because I wave like the older flag, off, the I flag guess. of liberation, and I just find it extremely disrespectful and not very democratic that mm. we're desecrating a flag while I'm bleeding for this country. Yeah, everybody should get Hell Divers too, though. Don't listen to anybody else. It's pretty fun till yeah. you get to level twenty, especially for the price. It's like it's forty bucks. What are they bitching about? It's because uh, they want to be right. About yeah, something. that's really what it comes down. They to. want to be right but about every something. game now. Because I, I, I can get in the head of these people because that's I, I do the same thing. I just don't make fucking YouTube videos about it. I yeah. just complain to you guys and fucking Everything Facebook. That comes out though, like even if it was good, like even if it's some shit that is incredible and it's like everyone literally likes it, you're still gonna have a huge community of people that are like contrarians. Yeah, guaranteed. 
I spent the whole time, the whole time that the Fallout show was in the zeitgeist, I told everybody how much it bothered me. Yeah. Uh, and it it's was like annoying. this show, like everybody, like this is a per, literally the perfect podcast. Yeah. But, um, like we there's just, like a bunch of people that are like, wow, you guys are wicked, stupid, gay. Yeah. Idiots. You guys just, there's too much dead air. There's too many repeat topics. Like we get it. Yeah. Like stop talking about fucking Pokemon. Rainbow Six and Pokemon. Stop talking about video games. Stop talking about sports. Yeah. Stop reading only the headlines. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, the museum. Listening. No, I think it's um, it's just this. You know, I I it feels good to complain because, uh, it's cathartic. It's cathartic, and also, it's really really easy to get a discussion going. If oh, it's way easier complaining about it's something. Way easier. That's why all these news organizations put out sensationalist headlines. Yeah. They want you to get fired up. And it's comment. more fun. You get way more engagement. When yeah. your comments go from 183 to like 7,000 something just because someone said something contrary. Yeah. It's like, yeah, of course you're going to do that all the time. You're always going to make it fucking like controversial. The thing that gets me, though, is that you have these same people that are like, uh, um, you know, there's all these people out there that are criticizing and overly critical, cynical, jaded, whatever. But then they also use the fact that – and that's just a very loud vocal minority usually. Most people that consume media don't talk about it. Like, Yeah, that's – You fair. know what I mean? Like, you, like you, nobody's ever going to talk about everything that they watch. Uh right. But then they use that whole, oh, these people are just overly critical as an excuse to be like, to not, like people either criticize too much or they are afraid to criticize anything at all. Or they're just like yeah. so, they, they they just can't stand those same like dudes that just are, are super cynical that they, they use that to be contrarian and be overly overly praise something or overly positive about something like i yeah. think the fake positivity is more annoying than the the suffocating negativity and cynicism like i it's i i, I can't stand people that are like oh there's this is perfect just buy it and play it or just get, watch it just watch it don't even think about it it's like what what are you doing yeah you know what i mean like uh well, it's like you also don't go like in conversation you're never like hey have you ever seen family guy and then they're like uh no and then you go like it's awful like it's not that you're bringing it up because you like it and right. you want them to watch it right right <laughs> like, but then I there's just... there's also like have you seen family guy remember the time hey lois remember the time i tried giving it a chance oh, again how oh, pain it was on comedy central because they bought it right no to it way something. yeah the so, no, 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 no. I fucking, I was like, I, I, you know uh, what? Maybe uh, I'll, uh, I'll just give it uh, a, uh, like, watch watch it for 15 uh, minutes and see if it's uh, if it's any good or whatever. Uh, maybe I had the wrong idea. Maybe uh, it's better walls. than I thought it was. And I was like, I watched, like, 15 minutes. Hey, Bader, you smell nice when you're sleeping, Bader. Hey, I don't Bader. Think that's, that's not a part of this. It's me, Joe. That's not what happens. Um, it's me, Joe Swanson. It really is like cringy jokes, though. Like it's really like, um, like I get the way they're trying to go with it, but like, it feels like it mostly misses the mark on like all like. There's like one or two times where you like giggle during an episode. That's not enough to me. <laughs> You're doing like a twenty three minute show 22 23 minutes long family guy is big with the zoomers though family guy is a perfect tiktok show uh yeah yeah it does have like it's because it's quick yep. quick hitters and it's like got no story just like this show we're basically yeah. like the family guy of of podcasts yeah That's you know fair. um seth mcfarland does all the voices yeah and ai does all the animating Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, it's just uh, one of those things. That's one of the things. That's an hour. Or ten minutes. Nice. 
So that'll be that'll be uh, this, this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad that you had a good time listening to it. You know what I mean? I could tell. Yeah, that they were enjoying this one. Um, they're gonna be there's gonna be a lot of feedback, a lot of negative feedback, and you know what we gotta do? We have to cave. Yeah, because that's what you're supposed to do nowadays. If you get any negative feedback, you have to go. Yeah, you guys are right. We'll change what we're doing completely now. You know what I mean? They're like, you got to come up with more topics. You got to be here have more energy. You got to stop repeating the same points. You got to stop the... saying that's just one of those things. Yeah. Stop just... saying, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Stop I, saying, I, um, stop saying like. They're all just trying to tell us what to do. And it's like, where's your show? Honestly? It's haters, you know. Where's I mean? your show? If you ain't got haters, yep. What is it they say? There's just too many people <laughs> out there that are like. What's the phrase? What isn't there a phrase? Something about like uh, if you don't have haters, something something. You're if not you don't, right if you don't have haters, your ass is in the wind. Your ass is in the wind. Uh, <clears throat> so go to w.gg. You can uh, currently. What the fuck is going on right now? He ain't my boy, but the brother is heavy. Took away all my possessions and moved into a Chevy. We're going to get Damn copyright man, strike. that's the master plan. But I don't have a potato, but the dog of the hand. <laughs> it's actually far too accurate. <laughs> <sighs> They're going to fucking, we're not going to be able to run. <laughs> copyright. Um. Uh, copyright Life notice. Seeker Life Seeker Gone Guru Yeah There you go Um, um Creed Damn man you know That's I mean? a master What's another band Um Shine Down Three Doors Down We should come up with We should make a list of bands That have down in the name <laughs> <laughs> System of a Down System three of a doors down, down Three Doors Down Shine Down that's it. I think that's all of them. Devour, devour, conversation running higher. Devour. Remember that? Shine Down. They were in Madden 09 with Favre on the cover. It's yeah. your final hour. Pee Wee Herman is the singer for Shine Down. Dang, I can't think of any other down bands. Um, Down with a Sickness. That's not a band, but we could come up with like, music related down, down stuff. But I guess we could do that in the next episode. Well, let's uh, come up with bands that would be the funniest if their lead singer had down syndrome. Um Yeah, let's do that. Outcast. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, we're doing D12. Um Led Zeppelin. Limp Biscuit. Already there. Oh, wait, yeah, I guess we already got that. Hey, if you want to see the rest of this bit, watch the next episode whenever it comes out. There's a sequel to this one. You're not going to want to miss it. Yeah. <laughs> we pulled one of those. And the only way you're going to know um, is as if we're wearing the same outfit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but there's a chance that we could have done this before. Like, I'm going to. He ain't my boy, but the brother is heavy. You'll know. You'll know. He'll probably sing that song again. Anyway, go to w.gg. Um, you can uh, get 20% off your order um, till the end of September. Not 10%. And um, I don't know. What else? Go to the website, buy some merch. Uh, you know, you can go on. Here's a thing we haven't done in a while, right? And it's food or object. Um, but right now, uh, you can actually go on the website, click on food or object, and you can start doing it yourself. You don't even need it in the episode anymore. You just do it yourself. And I'll, we'll see the results. You can look at the results. People because are, people are, people are torn on some things. You know what I mean? So the rain and the do that. All right, guys. Uh, Elevate we'll see your you mind soon. like airplane glow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>